Hi, Mike here from Greenway. Well, in a previous video, we were taking a look at these two cars here and looking at their battery stats, looking at the longevity. The black car didn't have very much mileage on it. The red car had twice as much mileage. And we're looking at the difference between um, calendar degradation, like age, versus usage in terms of mileage. I didn't find a very big difference between those two. And I'm wondering, is there a formula we could come up with to determine what your estimated battery state of health would be based on knowing two factors, one, the age of the car, and then the distance driven. Now, fortunately, I've been able to find an additional vehicle here uh, that I can bring into the stats here. So we've got three, actually, 2017 Nissan Leafs to take a look at. I'll pull out the data for the last, uh, these two vehicles I had in the previous video. And we're going to grab the data for the third vehicle. And then let's see what we can do to figure out if there's a formula that we can use to determine battery state of health. And then I'm um, curious to know if the formula works on your car. So. Uh, let's take a look first at the battery state of health of the third vehicle. So I mentioned uh, earlier that uh, I did have the uh, results from these two vehicles here already. We have this uh, black 2017 Nissan that has 73,000 kilometers. We have this red uh, Nissan Leaf 2017 that it has around 140,000 kilometers. And then we've got this one here as well, which um, you may have seen it in some other videos. It's got around just around 10,000 kilometers, so quite a bit younger. Let's take a look at its current stats. Oh, okay, the third car here has uh, just over 10,000 kilometers, 6,000 miles. So let's take a look at the Leaf Spy information here that we've got today. Uh, it has 65.95 uh, amp hours and estimates 82.98% battery state of health. And it's had, of course, uh, way fewer charge sessions than the other one. So I'll bring up all the data here on the screen, and then we can compare those three and see if there's a way we can use a formula to determine our estimate state of health. Okay, so I've plotted the data here that we collected from all three cars. I forgot that the, uh, the last one was a 2016, so anyways... Um, might skew the results a little bit but they all do have the same battery size so the first car with a low mileage that's the black one I looked on the, on the door and looked at the the month and year it was built and that one was built in June of 2017 so it's fairly late 2017 build but I just put uh, June 1st here just for easy math for Excel and then on the next one uh, the higher mileage vehicle red one it was built in October 2016 and then the last one with the low mileage was built in November of 2015. So then what I did there is I just took this column and I took the date, uh, today's date, um, and subtracted uh, the date and this is the number of days old each car is. So we know how many days old it is. So that'll be helping us with our first factor here, the days factor. Um, and uh, by the way, maybe I'll just go through the first top part here first. So we've got uh, the mileage of all the three vehicles, kilometers, number of battery bars, state of uh, amp hours, state of health. And this is what I'm trying to achieve by using this formula and trying to predict uh, the state of health. This is what Leaf Spy has informed me that the number is today. This is the number of quick charges or L3 charges, AC charges, total charges, and then just out of curiosity, number of miles and kilometers per charge. But those aren't really terribly important numbers for this analysis. So again, we go back, we've got the age of the cars in days. And then um, what we want to do is, is uh, use a formula here to predict state of health. So I've got something called a days factor and a kilometer factor. And these are just made up numbers that I was playing with to try and get my formula to work out to predict the state of health based on the number of miles and kilometers. So if we look at the number of days here, so I've taken this um, formula, we've used the, the, the number of days multiplied by the, this uh, days factor to come out to this number. So I'm saying that 13.3% of the, the loss of the battery is due to um, the uh, the age of the, the battery. In this case, I'm saying 14.5% and 16.1% of the battery loss is due to age. Then 
what I'm I should maybe I should just change those to read as percentages so that it's just makes more sense there we go I'm gonna do the same thing here there we go okay so then the next one is the kilometers factor and I just use kilometers I mean I could use miles as well but either way I've got this number here this made up number multiplied by the kilometers and then this is the percentage I figure it's uh, um, lost in in the state of health and essentially here what we've got then you look at this formula we started with a hundred percent so i'm saying we start with one then we subtract e8 which is this one 8.5 8.05 and then we subtract 13.32 so that formula gives us an estimated 78 percent state of health uh and leaf spice is 75 so eh, we're in the range uh, I can play with these some more and get those numbers to match, but you know, trying to get all three numbers to match, you know, so this 75 compares to this 78, 71 compares to 70.46, and 82 compares to 82. So hopefully this is making sense what I'm doing here. I'll do this one, just walk through one more time here. Uh, this last car is 3296 days old. Then I multiply it by this factor. I figure it's about 16% degradation due to that. Then with the kilometers, so distance factor, multiply this um, by the number of kilometers, so it comes out to this. And then uh, you take those two, take these two, subtract them from 100 or 100%, brings it to 82.6, which is pretty close to this number here. So, so here's my question then. If you take a look at your age of your car, if you figure out in days, and unfortunately this means going to the door jam and looking at the build date, I did use the build date because even the, you know, both of these cars are 2017s, but they were built, you know, many months apart. So I think that uh, factors into the age. Uh, who knows if they changed the chemistry in the meantime, you know, all these factors, chemistry could have changed, uh, the, uh, you know, the state, uh, the quick charges may have an effect. I'm not even factoring in quick charges here. I'm not factoring in environment. So I realize I'm way simplifying this and there's many more factors that will account for battery degradation. But, um, you know, if you figure out your days, your age of your car, look at your mileage, you've gone multiplied by these two factors. That's, you know, zero, 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 four, nine, and, and then I got five zeros and 11 here. Uh, we know, will it come out to the right uh, number? You know, so if we've got a car that has, let's say, 3,000 days old, and then uh, I'm just going to copy down this, and let's say, so there's, it says zero right here right now because I don't have a kilometers in here. Let's say they had 100,000 kilometers. So the formula predicts that the car uh, state of health would be about 84%. Uh, anyways, that's just, uh, I'll just get rid of that. That's not part of the formula really, but uh, that's what I'm coming out to. So I don't know if you think this is any use of time or am I just wasting my time playing with Excel here? What do you think? Uh, well, what does it uh, work out for your car? I know this will take a bit of work for you to, to, um, to, to type this in. Um, but uh, let me know if it works on yours. So <laughs> I don't know if we've learned anything today by doing this analysis, looking at these three cars and trying to figure out that formula to predict battery degradation, utilizing years of age, or actually days of age, and then kilometers or miles, uh, either way it would work. Um, I know I'm totally ignoring all the other factors I mentioned, I'm ignoring the climate it's been in. I'm ignoring, what else am I ignoring? <laughs> uh, lots of different things. How many times it's been level three charged instead of just AC charged, level one, level two. Uh, and also ignoring probably the usage style and there's no way for me to know, you know, it was a treated uh, nicely in terms of driven gently or was it driven hard? I think a car that's driven hard will drive more heat into the battery. Anyway, Lots of things to think about. I don't know if I'm, I'm probably overthinking it. I'm probably just thinking of an excuse to use an Excel spreadsheet. And uh, that was today's task. So um, let me know uh, what your thoughts are on this crazy analysis, if it was any use to you. And um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you hanging around to the end here. Uh, and uh, if you find the video interesting or informative, 
you know, give me a thumbs up at least. Uh, at least uh, I know someone's watching and uh, uh, hopefully the Excel a bit there. Maybe there's something that we could uh, learn from that. I'm, I'm going to think more about it, but uh, thanks a lot. Have a good day.